setting session. In this session, I will show you how to run a snapper photo taken out from an old printer. And the interesting part is, I am going to run this photo using an Omron CP1E PLC. For this project, we need two phase snapper driver, two phase snapper moto, Omron CP1E and 20 DT PLC, 20, uh, 24 volt power supply, DC power supply, uh, some basic wiring tools, laptop, and CX programmers. This is the motor salvage from the printer. We need to determine the wire A plus, A minus, B plus, and B minus. Can use multimeter to determine the wires. Set multimeter to continuity check. Prepare the required items. Uh, make sure that the wires are properly rolled and uh, separated. Uh, next, we look at the stepper driver. This uh, stepper driver is an economical uh, stepper driver, so it may cost around 3 USD to 6 USD. So it's uh, very useful in, if you want to make a simple stepper motor projects. So we have an enable port and then direction port and also the pulse port. So and the A plus A minus and B plus B minus is the phase port. So this uh, stepper motor will be wired uh, to the phase port based on the uh, wire that we have determined using the multimeter connectivity check. The four wires, uh, we will have two pairs of wires, so it doesn't matter which is A or which is B. So just uh, make sure that they are in pair. For example, if B plus and B minus or A plus and A minus, the A or B they have to be in pair. The pair is determined with the connectivity tested in the multimeter. Next, we are going to wire the 24 volt DC supply. So VCC is the 24 volt positive supply. GND is the negative supply. Once you have on uh, completed wiring, power on check. Green line means the wiring is correct. If you have a red flashing light means the wiring is not correct so you have to check if uh, a plus b plus and b minus and b plus is wired correctly now let's look at the ena port or enable port uh, this port is used to share a multiple stepper motor into a single stepper driver uh, for our case we may not be using this ena port We will use the pulse and direction port. Uh, pulse port is to fit pulse into the stepper motor. Once you have pulse, motor will start to rotate. And the direction port is to set motor direction. If it is on, then it is uh, clockwise. If it is not on, then it is anti-clockwise. PLC CP1E N20 DT has a common negative output. So the stepper motor pulse positive and direction positive has to be looped together and common into the positive point. So this is to enable the stepper driver to accept negative signal coming from the PLC. And uh, so that's it, our wiring has uh, already completed. So we are left with the PLC output wiring and now let's look at the PLC model here, we have a CP1E N20 DT as shown here. Um, so you, we, based on this, we need to ensure that the output is negative common as this is a DTD type model. The PLC is wired with the 24 watt uh, power, DC power supply. Uh, based on the motor current, if the motor current and the PLC current is uh, below the maximum current of the power supply, then you can save the supply from the single power supply. For those who are new to Omron PLC, uh, we have uh, output. This is our output section. We have 0, 0, 0, 001 and 0, 02 until 0, 0, 006. So output is commonly addressed as 101, 102, 103 and so on. So if you can see here, the first comm here is for output 01, second comm is output 02. 
and NC is a no contact and this com is for 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0, 4 okay and then uh, we have uh, com another com 0, 5 and 0, 6 and finally the last com is for 0, 7 this PLC model as a output uh, port which requires negative power supply as a common so we loop all the common together and connect it to the negative supply next we are going to wire the pulse and direction into the PLC output so pulse need to be wired into a high speed output we have 00, zero or zero 01 is as a high speed output if you use 00, zero, then your direction should be wired into 02. If you use 01, then your direction should be wired into 03. This wiring sequence is need to be followed because uh, when we use uh, certain functions in the PLC, it is already predetermined that uh, zero zero, if zero zero is a pulse, then uh, zero two should be a direction. If zero one is a pulse, then zero three should be a direction. So if you did not follow the wiring sequence, the function uh, applied in the PLC ladder diagram will not operate the stepper motor. Before beginning, we have to check the rated current of the stepper motor uh, to make sure that uh, no excess current is flow into the stepper motor. In order to set the maximum limit, we have to uh, make sure that the driver is uh, switched to uh, the amount of current which the stepper motor can accept. Current can be switched from the deep switch in the stepper. We have six deep switch first three dip switch is to set the current and the next three dip switch is to set the step of the stepper motor so the current here uh, for the motor can be set by switching the switch one and two and three this is the six dip switch switch one switch two switch three for current setting switch four five six for step setting so step setting we have 200 400 800 and 1600 so this means that if you set 200 means you need 200 pulse to perform one full rotation if you set 800 you need 800 pulse to perform one full rotation so this is the steps for this motor i am setting the rated current to 0 0.5 ampere okay so switch one two on and three is off okay on off and on so this is uh, one ampere or 0 0.7 ampere rated so the wiring is now ready so once uh, wiring is ready you can on the CX programmer and click new and select the PLC model CP1E N20DT first I input the P on always on uh, contact and followed by TMHHX timer um, for this uh, example we are going to use a high speed timer TMHHX just to test if the motor is rotating TMHHX has a resolution of timer which is 0 0.1 millisecond so the concept here is uh, when the timer is on it will reset itself and on again uh, reset itself on again reset itself and so we already have a pulse and this pulse is uh, fit into the pulse port of the motor uh, whereas the driver will receive the pulse and the motor will start to rotate
So now the motor rotates and uh, from the ladder diagram you can see that the switching has begun and the uh, motor is rotating from the pulse received. Okay, so that was a simple test using a TMHHX function, but we still do have other useful functions in PLC uh, such as PET and PULSE, ACC and INI and PWM and PULSE. So this will be covered in the upcoming videos, so please keep watching. Hi, if you love this, please like, subscribe and comment.